That one looks a little more like has white on the tips than the one we collected. Yeah. have a snack recommendation from Australia. Some sugary fairy bread. Sugary what? Fairy bread. Ooh. I think I could use some right now. Me too. I can do one more. So Adam, it looks like if if they stay on track, if the next watch stays on track, they'll definitely get to the first summit. And then we'll have, depending on how quickly they get there, we'll have two to two to three hours to, to transit over to the other peak. But hmm. it looks like what's, maybe... What's that distance? Yeah, yeah from this peak one directly to... So there is uh, one, yeah, 1 1.3, but if we want to go to waypoint 13, that's like 1.4, and then you'd have to transit up. So we could probably quickly pop over to the other summit near the peak. Yeah, I on. wonder if it's worth it. Well, we could also, so it, we could, now that we're in this flatter, less slopey bit, we could up our speed now, so then we'll have more time at it, or we could kind of... Slow down. Or just yeah. Explore no, I, the top I, I feel like the pace we're going at is fine and could even be a little faster. Okay. Uh, but we do have to stop for a sample. Yeah. Uh, let's see where we are. I think if they have like an hour or an hour and a half to get over to that other one, then it might be better just to stick around. Then, yeah. Will that get Coralie her last sample, though? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think, think those peaks are too different. In no, they're pretty close. There's a little difference, but... 12 and 14 are, yeah, about the same depth. And we are going two five zero now. Two five zero.
it's hard to it's twenty eighty seven still. I'm gonna get a quick zoom on this this guy, Dave. Right. Animal. 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 Roger. Can someone talk about our future expeditions? What's this on this sponge? What are those linear bits? Uh, let's see. So next year, zoom in there, Dave, quick. next season starts in February. Uh, I don't know the order of things, but there'll be expeditions to Hydrozilla, Howland Baker. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jarvis, there'll be a exciting technology challenge expedition just off of Honolulu. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh goodness! Abandoned <laughs> ship. I dropped a crab overboard about <laughs> three hours ago. <laughs> What's that? The little? immersion suit. All right, come on. <clears throat> And the last dive of this year will be pretty soon. We're on dive three of this expedition. We have, what, two more left, probably? Yeah, I think we're going to get two more in. The Netherlands, they're suggesting... Stroop waffles for a snack. Stroop waffles. Yummy. Oh, interesting. What's a stroop waffle? It's like a little waffle cookie. Waffle cookie. Really thin waffles, caramel inside. Yeah. Oh. Down with that. They have they them. They hand those out on the flights from Madison. Yeah. Hmm. Really. I think some people warm them on their hot drink. Yeah, that's right. Can we zoom on that coral? If we can figure out if it's Paragorgia or Precious? Sure. Zoom yeah, that whole fast is Dave. messing with us here. <laughs> How is it backlit if we're in front of it? <laughs> <laughs> Another ROV down here. Can we get more light on it? Uh, back off, maybe. Back off, yeah. Paradox, it'll be. Oh, there's a. Looks like it took down a branch of it. Oh, yeah. I want to say better. precious coral. That's my guess. Asuka yeah. Saka. Sorry. Too much. <laughs> Alright, I'm bouncing around. Alright, come on. Yeah. I go catch up. Yeah, I gotta catch up anyway. Yeah, precious coral. Thank you. Did I get it right? Yeah, you did. Yes. <laughs> Getting old. It'll be a PhD <laughs> just in 
coral identification, not any, <laughs> not any science. It's <laughs> a very yeah, dictionary so. like. <laughs> Jake, you want one? We have a viewer, viewer who has just recently tuned in and wanted to know who all they're seeing on channel three. So should have our bios there, right? Yeah, yeah, you can look us up on the main page if you scroll down. You can see everybody all of wave our pictures. Watch your camera. I don't know. Just that one back up. behind us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is it possible to climb rather than lateral? Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, we're going ge uh, generally upslope. There's just this feature, persistent linear feature. Okay. That is up there in front of Hercules. I can bump. Let's see what which way to is the that? north. It's kind of like northwest. I could do that, but. I think we'll just go west and eventually intersect it. Northwest will go get us away from our goal. Yeah, northwest seems like a, a local rift there, right? Yeah, seems seems that way. Did you want to for depth purposes, or you have stuff up there that you want to see? Oh, just the depth, yeah. Adam never released his, um, never released my power. He gave me the power to be in charge, but he never took it back. Never took it back. That was his issue. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. It's gone to her head. <laughs> yeah. We have some more info on fairy bread. You want to know what it is? Yes. Sure. I think maybe we could go try to make some after is our shift. Is this a Swedish thing? Uh, it was from Australia. Australia. It is white bread smeared with butter and then sprinkled with hundreds or thousands of jimmies. Oh, yeah, sprinkles. Oh, jimmies. Do they use the little tiny mm -hmm. round ones or the little elong elongate? I don't ones? know. Viewer, you're going to have to let us know. I always think of jimmies as the, l the long ones. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Think of them as sprinkles or sprinks. <laughs> I worked in an ice cream parlor when I was in high school. <laughs> we have a viewer who's uh, noticing, they feel like the communities of corals and sponges here in the deep ocean seem very sparse, and are they in decline like other reef corals? And I don't think we can answer that question because we're just now getting baseline information on who is here now. We've definitely, we passed some areas that clearly were once more abundant with a lot of holdfasts and a lot of large colonies of either sponges or corals or, you know, individual sponges. But other places, it seems, you know, like now is the time to be there. Lots of coral. Perhaps that's dependent on whatever current uh, microclimate is happening in those regions. Yeah, the change in the deep ocean, even related to kind of anthropogenic changes, really slow compared to what we see in the surface ocean or on land. Um, so I would not predict that this is much different than it was 100 years ago or 1,000 years ago. Uh, but collecting this baseline information and seeing what's here now is really important for uh, investigating what happens uh, with time at these places. 250, Raj. 250. I'll wait a minute to turn my head, though. That's a pretty, that's, that feature got even steeper. What is that? The Argus, the Argus sonar. 
Yeah, Get hard to say. Yeah, what kind of top that is? That uh, that only just oh. happened. To this guy. Yeah. Oh, facing us. That's what new. Is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, zoom in quick here, Dave. Try and follow it. Nice. I bet he looks grouchy. Nice. All right, come on. Nice shot. That was one we hadn't seen before. I'm not sure what it that was. That coral with the yeah, star in it? Like a you yeah. might be able to turn your head real quick and see it. Where is it? Is that right? Um, keep going. Where did uh, we go? What you looking for there any? Might be in porch. Could turn a little more. We just we like just uh flew over it. It's like a yellowish. Yeah, right there. Back, right there. The whip? Porch. Down? All right. Yeah. That one. The whitish yellow one. Yeah. Watch the precious oh. coral on your yeah. bumper there. Want to get a zoom there, Dave? What are you? This could be yeah. are the zoanthids. Looks like a zoanthid encrusting a on an old skeleton. Oh, a dying skeleton. That's that's my best guess. I concur with Doctor Rennie. I concur, but I don't know what the skeleton was. So it's possible that this is just something we haven't seen, and they're not. I don't know. They look like Zoanthids to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Osco concurs. Yes. All right, Chase, you're gonna Concurrence. Take boogie pretty soon. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Gotta go, gotta go. Did anyone have an ID on that fish we just saw? Or the viewer was curious about that. Let me take a look in my old database of fish. Chordate. Chordate. <laughs> uh, I believe it's <laughs> Ophidium one fish. Yeah, it's actually just a Word document that says <laughs> core date. Spot <laughs> <laughs> 48. Can't even fit on one line. Hmm. No, that's not it. Well, I think it's going to remain a mystery for now. It's like a pillow that more Collapse. Oh, yeah. Another chair. But. But. There's a octa coral. 250, yeah. We seem to be going a little more northward. A viewer is asking about aging five, some of these large corals. I okay. think they can do that if we take a sample, correct? Yeah, tough to... Uh, tough to get an age on them.
do does anyone know maybe someone in the chat knows um do zoanthids eat coral or do they smoke them out and just kind of smother them start taking up their nutrient space how does one how does a colony of zoanthids overtake a coral colony I think Asako is coming to your rescue. Nice. All right. Sko has an answer it's from reading the tone. I think she's saying that's uh, not a great question. Okay, okay. That's but <laughs> thanks for interpreting <laughs> the tone. That's <laughs> like <laughs> but she said <laughs> it doesn't eat the coral; just covers the covers it. <laughs> huh? That's got to be a, an ugly process then. Mm. Slow. Slow. God, I love these semi-precious. I think they're totally precious. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we judging that? It, there's also <laughs> precious, right? <laughs> oh, there's an umbellopathies right there. Yeah. Oh, that little at the top with yeah. it. That's what I think, unless, unless we zoom in and it's something else. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. I guess zoom in there. Yeah. Definitely black coral. Unless there's something else that looks like umbellopathies, it looks like umbellopathies. Oh, it probably is. What Whoa. are you doing? Oh, what? Poor what? little snail. Get away. Get a snail in our watch. <laughs> Went on a tumble. Whoa. Acrobatic <laughs> snail. Oh, is I, don't that? Know. I don't know. It's very acrobatic. Is that just a is snail? Or is, it something? or is that a fish in there trying to no, predate it's it? No, it's the acrobatic snail. It does that. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's its name? Yeah. <laughs> From us? I mean, I get it. <laughs> Wow. That's huh. like made an entrance. What a move. It landed on something down there. All right. Yeah, you or is that it's get going? Itself. <laughs> that, Boy, was there, Dave. Dave. that was quite a show. Yeah. It looked like one of those ca cat toys. It's like a ball with the yeah. tail. have a viewer asking why corals are classified as animals and it's because they are number one multicellular they consume other organisms so they're heterotrophic they have an internal digestive system and they have embryonic development and they are mobile at least in some form of their life cycle so that's what defines them as being part of kingdom animalia Back to the fairy bread. 
<laughs> ooh, we have ooh. more info. Yeah. But ask them before we hear this, what if you put Vegemite on the bread and then put the jimmies on? Oh, oh. you got to oh. be kidding me. <laughs> Evil fairy bread. <laughs> Dark fairy. Yeah. Uh, they said that their, their sprinkles are called hundreds and thousands, and they're little and round. And oh, there's a crab or something on that rock. Yeah. Can we look at that? Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I just pointed at things and didn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> um, so this ship move is about 30-some meters left. Uh, yeah. We're still pretty flat, so I'll say that I, I will not call in another one after that, and we'll see if we can pick a rock up at that 250 yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yo, hang out here for a sec because we have some crabs on the wish list. Okay. We'll, we'll have to stop the ship if we want to do that. Okay. We could stop and back up. I mean, we could also get our rock sample at this depth. Not that That's far off. Is this the cr Does this appear to be the crab? That well, you know what? These crab. darn wish lists are... <laughs> they have... Oh, it's arthropods. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, am I going to have to get out ahead a little bit? Yeah. I'll drop a quick target just in case. No, it's not uh, It's not on the list. Not right. on the list. Roger. Leave oh. it be. Pretty cool looking crab, though. It is. Yeah, it it's is. It's a lucky day. All right, you can go ahead, right, go ahead and make the list. Zoom out in front there, yep. Jake. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Watch that coral. Yeah, these wish lists are not made for a geologist. <laughs> like, is it a... They're made for Rennie. ...kind of darien or a kind of derm? Yeah. I need something that says crappy things. I know. Really <laughs> things. It's the same with the Okeanos list. Pink corals. Not helpful unless you know something. A viewer wants to know if any organisms have ever attacked the ROVs. There have definitely been some that have gotten lodged in it. Um, squids on ascent, they ink us sometimes. That's uh, true. No shark damage so far, though? No. Uh, nope. There have been some mythed legends, perhaps, of a, a shark biting the foam packs of other ROVs, but not that I know of front ours. Way back in the day, there was a a sailfish that attacked Alvin and huh. left its sword. Yeah, it went through the sail and it got stuck there. Oh, oh, wow! But the fish got away. No. Oh. They're pretty aggressive. I was sure fish. how easily the sword. Comes I don't off. think they like <laughs> grow a new one if it. Yeah, falls it'll be off. like a pretty miserable rest of the life. They're like. Oh, here comes Shorty. Oh. <laughs> Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> what happened again? You attacked a robot? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us the robot story. ROV pilots, can you take a question? Yeah, we can. They, we have a viewer who's asking, is Herc's compass ever affected by any of the mineral deposits or sea debris on the bottom? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, good Not one. to our knowledge. It's, it's a uh, fiber optic <laughs> gyroscope. It's a gyro, yeah, so there is a magnetic yeah. compass on Hercules, but that's not the primary one. The gyro compass is not affected by any magnetic yeah. anomalies has to do with the spin of the Earth. And you're welcome to look up the Wikipedia page of a gyro compass for more explanation. How Is that a works. crab? Squat lobster? Squat lobster. It's one of the yeah. squat ones, yeah. Another one of those um, possibly golden corals, too. Oh, yeah. yeah.
All right, just hold here so we don't blast past the depth. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Yep. Bridge. Bridge now. Hold position. Thank you. Still should have like a bit of Argus swing, maybe okay. 20 or so meters. Yeah, we're at the depth already. Roger that. Yeah. Like there's more loose stuff over to the right. Yeah. So our friend Misty from Australia tells us you should not eat Vegemite with sprinkles. <laughs> should only uh -huh. eat it with cheese, avocado, or peanut butter, or just plain old <gasps> butter. With peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter? Ooh. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like Vegemite, but I can't imagine it with peanut butter. I but now I kind of want to try it. I have a jar in my cabinet that's probably 10 years old. I wonder if it goes bad. <laughs> it only gets better. You have probably. A highly fermented Vegemite. It's made of yeast. It probably just You ages. have a 2011 vintage? That was a great <laughs> year. Yeah. <laughs> there was a blight that the next year. I think. Yep. <laughs> a yeast blight. Are we in an okay place to look for a rock now? Are we still waiting on a... Uh, Argus is still settling swing a little bit. Oh. Still a bit of swing, but we can start looking. It's looking pretty flat-ish above, yeah. so we'd be able to lift Get Argus up, up, even if we had to... <laughs> God bless you. Bless you. Tight. That like echoed in my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> this would be an awesome spot for the eDNA um, for the kind of rock here. He did right he right did pass his just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> You're banished. <laughs> <laughs> he did pass his COVID test yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look bad right here. First day. Yeah, these are. Please mute your mic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> three below the lasers, maybe. I think we'd be clear anywhere here if you want. I don't think there'll be too I much more swing. What um, size I rock are you looking for? Is a small bin one? Um, uh, small bin. Yep. So there's those Anything right there. The there's there's some something over here. Something not flat. That's ideal. Yeah, let's do the center one there, Jake. I can't stop thinking about Vegemite and peanut butter. I don't, I, <laughs> Adam, you're getting it. blessings from all over the world. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <laughs> it's better than us telling you that your yeah, really. world take like, off yeah. at your head. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Things were better when it was just Sarah. <laughs> push on in there Dave and take a view take a picture these looking like st stuff you want yeah I'd yeah. say that one or that one okay cool Roger full wide please interact back on the band and tilt there Go ahead and push in and nerve it, please, Dave. Any preference, or else I'm going to go with the egg one. Yeah. Oops. I don't know why that's three. <laughs> Lucky three. I get a better grip on this. That's good enough, I guess. Go 
ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. Slow enough. Ready? Want to stick on right here? All right. What was that? Full wide, please. What was that? I heard someone say something. Oh, I asked Renee to, to the right lock in the oh, sticks. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, actually, Jake, I'm going to pop up a little bit. and then yep. That way, if we get any swing in us, it won't yank us while the starboard bow is open. Is there a black S coral there? What's the sample yeah. number here? This is going to be 067. Zero six seven. Should we get there, Jake? Right. Yeah, Argus should stop swinging, I think. This vicinity is fine then for the right. skin. We're not too far. Oh, uh, I don't know. Are we? How far away from where we picked the rock up? Uh, probably only a few meters. Yeah, I can measure it, but it's just a couple meters. Uh, can we move up up this little slope here? There's a bunch of looks like a bunch of rocks to grab, and I'd like to get the water. From oh, right you want to maintain those? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll put this one down then. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right, go ahead, Jake. Watch your. Oh, yeah. 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 Watch the porch again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we we shouldn't be swinging so anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Call there's up. no. Oh, rocks yeah. if you see them. Not too much shallower. We're already past our depth. Maybe over down where that clearing is there. There's some. Watch your. Watch Mongo on the coral there. But yeah, maybe somewhere dead ahead. Maybe try angling it. So come around. Fly around this way and then park in there, yeah. facing upslope. Going into some current. Yeah. That'd be good clearing. Yeah, it's much better. You see anything ahead that looks good? Uh, it's kind of in there. What about looking to the right a little bit there, Jake? Anything? What about that one right yeah, there? I see that one. Under Which one claw. are we talking about? Under the under the claw right now. That might oh. be a bit big. Yeah. You wanna look a little down on the pan and tilt. Hmm. I don't know. I think those are cemented in there guys. You yeah. think the one right there next to that sponge? It's not too big to fit in there. Right there with the crinoid on it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I like that one if we can get it. All right. Stable there? So this one I think is too big here. Go ahead and push on in a bit there, Dave. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this guy here. I think so. I think it'll fit. Well, can you maybe pick him up and look at him? Yeah. Do you guys want that sponge on it too? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Because the sponge will probably won't fit. Oh, but if the sponge falls off, oh, I don't it, mind about that. Yeah. All right, let me get a better grip on this guy. That's kind of the perfect rock. <laughs> oh, is that a little bit there, Only Jake? one yeah. we want. All right, so we'll probably have to snap off the sponge. That's fine. Or it's going to... You want it? Oh, look, it's shaped like a heart. Yeah. Thank you. Aww. So sweet. Let's Steve's gonna love this rock. <laughs> every little Can we put it in the lasers? Get a good size on it. Sure. Thank you. Actually, I wonder if it can go in that front. Isn't there a front empty? Go ahead and push in, in there, a bit, please. I think it'll fit in this smaller one. If not, we'll put it in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this will. This looks like it'll fit. Yeah. Unless you're thinking of saving the whole sponge. Putting well, it in the front. That's fine. That sponge will probably have to be snapped regardless. Okay. A lot of stuff living on it. Okay, full wide, please. I wonder if that crino, the crino will probably swim away, but whatever. Um, do you guys want me to snap the sponge off now so that it doesn't potentially cross-contaminate the bins? Um, I think we're okay. If we, well, it may be easier to try to fit it in the box if we snap it now. Go ahead and push in there a bit, please, Dave. That's great, thank you. There you go. Oh, off goes the crown. There you go. Go ahead, please. Hi, buddy. I know I ran away. Go for A or B. Both are open. Roger. Go ahead, Jake. Okay, what was that number again? Zero six seven. Zero six seven. Sponge went in A. All right. Maybe it's a little too big here. Okay. It has a short axis. Looks like it's the other, just a long way on that camera there. Yeah, you can do it, Jess. You got it. Yeah. If you push it back towards A, that front bit might fall in at first. There's one thing I know, it's that pilots love when I give advice. Yeah. <laughs> <on situations. laughs> Back row driver. All right, why don't we go ahead and put it in the forward one then? Roger. A bit of that dead sponge fell into A. Yeah. In the one 
in front of us, like the most forward box it fell into? Yeah, it fell into Okay. It, and it broke off and fell into it. Oh, I think you, you can drop can it into it. it. Yeah, do it. Oh, it's so close. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know what? We're just... Let's see. <laughs> so close. So close. That is all she wrote for this guy. We're going to remove it now. Up into that good luck shirt that you had on there, Jake. We needed well, that for this rock grab. All right, I guess I needed go my good luck socks, up. too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of socks, I did laundry today. Okay, Pretty excited up. about it. Yeah, how'd it go? It's unresponsive, the gooey. Uh, you know, the whole gooey? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Yeah, maybe just click it like once there, Jake. I got it. We'll figure that out in a second. You got it on the rocker switch too, I think. Can you switch over? Actually, to both are unresponsive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, can you switch your rocker to that? It was just, it was just, it's okay now. I think it went too far out on the piston, and it's too heavy on the outermost part. All right, you want to keep on closing it up, and I'll bring the rock around? Yeah, it's unresponsive here. Hmm. It's the sample tray out button. It seems to be locked on. Yeah, it's locked in. Here. Interesting. That might have been the tool tray. All right, go ahead and switch us around, please. Have you tried to hit sample out on your GUI? Yeah. Uh, there oh. you go. That there you unlocked go. it. All right. You still full rack back there, Jake? Yep. All right. Go ahead and look down and open up that toolbox. This is going to go into the uh, port side. Port Can side. I grab a quick picture of what the sponge part looks like? Oh, yeah, sure. You want the sponge on the rock first? Yeah. yeah Jake, you want to pan up a little? Uh, I don't know if it's there anymore. Yeah, I think it's completely gone it's now. It's all in A. Broke off in A. Yeah. Perfect. It's just that whole Got it. Thank you. Sure thing. All right, you want to look a little down? Sorry about that. Go ahead and uh, close up that box. And then you want a NISC in here as well? Yep. Yeah. I'm going for one or two. Sure thing. I'm gonna look a little bit to the right there, Jake, so I can see where I line up. Thanks. One and two? Yep, either one. Can you look a little up there on the pan and tilt? Does not want to be our friend today. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. 
cheat, cheat, cheat. Up. That was one, right? Oh, did you get yeah, it? Yeah, that was one. 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 Okay, thank you. For our viewers, the water samples are used to look for eDNA and can also be used to look for the rare metals that we are interested in. Is there any other use for the water this this expedition? Uh, we can dry it and make very expensive sea salt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to have with our Vegemite. Yeah, there you go. But I think actually it gets with the trace metal analysis and uh, eDNA it gets there, pretty much consumed. Okay, you ready to keep moving along? Is this uh, one of them? Umbellopathies? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready to keep moving. All right. We're going to go 230. 230. 230, Reg. Bridge now. 100 meters bearing 230. Thank you. We have a viewer asking about um, how we got here and advice we would have and you can find all that information at the bottom of the NautilusLive.org webpage. You just click on our pictures, you can read our bios. Dave, could you take a question? Sure. We have a viewer who asks, how do you operate your live streams? You have a dedicated person for commentary and organizing the feeds. Uh, the live streams are three separate uh, video encoders, uh, and we feed them from a uh, common routing switcher that have all the video sources uh, that are available uh, in the system from uh, all the ROVs uh, around the ship and around the van. Uh, and we uh, select those feeds uh, and send them to video encoders that compress the streams and send them offshore uh, by satellite. Back, uh, they're received back in uh, in Rhode Island and then converted to web streams and sent to the website there. And then, as what was the rest of the question? Um, uh, do you have a dedicated person for the commentary and organizing the feeds? Well, that would be you. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, uh, science fellow, uh, which is Lisa on this watch, is doing the commentary part of it. Uh, there's a website team that updates the website uh, and uh, fills in the information, uploads new videos, uh, new pictures. Uh, there's a whole uh, outreach team that does uh, live uh, webcasts, if you will. Uh, in addition to the live streams that you're seeing here, they do uh, specific interactions. Um, there's a whole team that that handles the uh, outreach part of it. Science communication fellows are currently working on a cool sponge photo album to add to our website. You're at the end of your leash there, Jake. Mm -hmm. You're at the end of your leash there, Jake, if you want to sit down somewhere and look at the corals. All right. Maybe like that coral. Yeah. That's a good one. Watch Sometimes your bumper. I don't run into it. Wow, that's 
beautiful. Let's zoom in there, Dave. This coral. This is precious coral. Yeah. Mm. I think so. This is one where all the polyps face one direction. Anything else you want to zoom in while we're sitting here? Uh, I saw a coral with more like red polyps. It was off to the right a little bit. Was it? Oh, there you go. Was it that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch your front porch there. Zoom in there, Dave. This looks like that looks more bubble gum. Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Adam. Hey. hey. <laughs> Now, how do we know that? Because of the base? Because of the way it is. Because of the okay. way it is. <laughs> wow. It's wow. <laughs> <laughs> so like the Mandalorian. It helps me the this color is the way. helps. This is the way. Um, and then, like, if the polyps were to close, like, where the polyps are, like, that area is kind of, like, lumpy, like a big ball. Do you see that? Yep. Like, right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like if those closed, you would still have like a pretty big, like ball on the end of that arm. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like the bubble gum, kind of. I don't know. That's what they say. I still have a hard time identifying them. There we go. We had a question about how to differentiate between precious corals and bubble gum. So polyp shape too, is a thing. Seems also polyp density a bit. They're like a bit farther apart and bigger and. All right, we're moving. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna come on and get going. And then the plexorids are a bit easier because they are f more flexible. They're not. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. But they look similar in some ways to bu to bubblegum coral. Yeah, the precious are really rigid, so they won't flex around. What was the bearing you called in, Rennie? 230. Thank you. Going up this kind of less steep slope. Well, that's a very bulbous sponge there. Yeah. yeah. Looks partially dead. Watch your porch there, Jake. How far are we from waypoint 10? <clears throat> Hercules is currently 260 meters from waypoint 10. Thank you. I'm going to be handing over up here. Sure. 